From his breakout role in one of the most happening Halloween films, to his unbreakable friendship with Mark Harmon, here are some facts about Sean Murray that you guys just won't believe. Like, did you guys know he's the face behind Thackeray Binks from Hocus Pocus? You probably did, but did you know it's not his voice in the movie? Yep. While the boy who plays Binks in the movie is Sean, his voice actually belongs to Jason Marsden. Even then, this is probably the actor's most well-known role, and he's actually been pretty fond of it too. But back then, they didn't know how big the movie was going to become. In fact, because the film was released in the summer, they really didn't have any expectation for it to become such an iconic Halloween movie. But it did make Sean and the rest of the cast known for their witchy origins for the rest of their careers. Oh, and speaking of expectations, he also didn't expect to become the heartthrob of the film. In fact, people back then loved him so much, even his stepsister had a crush on him. But hey, don't jump to conclusions yet. You see, when the film came out in 1993, Sean's stepsister Troy and Belisario, who's known for playing Spencer in Pretty Little Liars, was just 8 years old. They didn't know each other back then, as Murray's mom married Belisario's dad years later. So, for a long time, Troyan had a huge crush on her future stepbrother. Because of this, when they became step-siblings, she used to act very weirdly around him. And I can relate. Like, we all expect to meet and live with our crushes, but to actually become their siblings is obviously a little too meta. But then again, she obviously had to at some point. Oh, and speaking of family, did you know that Sean's stepfather created NCIS? Yep, the show's creator is none other than Donald Belisario, who is Troyan's father and Sean's stepfather. In fact, he's also the brain behind Jack, which is another series where Sean appears, although not as Timothy McGee. Instead, he plays Danny Walden, a jerk of a character whom fans have loved to hate ever since the show aired. Oh, and because they're both family productions, Sean's acted in them, especially in NCIS, with family too. Like that time when his sister Troyan appeared on it for two episodes. Or another time his daughter Kay Ryan Murray appeared as Tegan Fields, who worked with McGee on a case. Well, looks like this family has the entire show handled pretty well, right? But what surprised fans since forever is how Sean has always limited his roles and has only ever been known for playing a handful of characters, NCIS included. And the reason is Sean's fatherhood. In a podcast back in 2020, he explained that he has deliberately stopped taking more roles so he can be more present with his family. He said that he wanted to focus more on his wife, Carrie, and their two children. I, I kind of have the thing right now where, hey, I'm with my family when I can be because I'm with my work family so much. Which is why he usually works only 10 out of 12 months. That too, only on NCIS. So, yeah, nine and a half, 10 months. So when we have free time, I really like to spend it with my family. Well, what a stand-up guy, right? He's also pretty responsible for taking care of himself for his family. His weight loss journey proves that. Now, if you followed NCIS religiously over the past few years, you'd know that Murray went through a phase where he lost a ton of weight. A lot of fans were concerned and even commented on how this changed his voice and physical features on the show. Well, that's all because being the stand-up responsible dad he is, Sean decided to stop smoking and started eating healthily which led to a massive transformation of him losing 25 pounds, where the change in his character's voice and mannerisms shocked all fans. Oh, and where did that discipline come from, you ask? Well, his naval background. In fact, he actually served as a captain in the U.S. Navy, and because of that, Murray has had a lot of influences from that life too. For one, his family lived in a lot of naval bases when he was young, up until his parents divorced when he was 15. But even then, he's called himself a military brat one too many times, saying how all those experiences are what he drew from when portraying Special Agent Timothy McGee on the show. Super cool background, right? Well, I'd say Sean's a pretty cool guy all in all, and that's also because of his interest in music. In fact, he's a self-proclaimed music nerd, saying how he has some of the most profound memories that he always relates to songs. He's also a great piano and guitar player, which he learned to play by himself, by the way. And that's not it. He's also self-taught in synthesizers and drum machines, so he can produce his own music at home. In fact, did you guys know that his music has been featured on the show too? 
This was way back in the first season's episode, Truth or Consequences, where the soundtrack was created by Murray. Although it was presented under the pseudonym Chad Gadia. How cool, right? He's also pretty in with the crowd when it comes to popular music. Like, just visit his Twitter account and you'll find him highlighting one musician or another in his tweets. Well, I never knew Timothy McGee would be such a hip-hop head, right? Oh, and speaking of his character, did you know that it was actually supposed to be just a one-time appearance in NCIS? Yep, back in the day, McGee was written as a one-off character who wasn't supposed to go longer than an episode. But when the episode was being edited, the editors realized they needed more footage from Sean and brought him back. And once they did, they realized he didn't need to leave at all, bringing the very loved Timothy McGee to life permanently on screens. Well, can you guys even imagine NCIS without Tim? I don't think this show would have been the same at all. And while fans agree, Sean attributes the show's success to Mark Harmon alone. This happened during the series' 400th episode celebration, which was rare. Because have you ever seen a series span this long without losing its fan base? Not NCIS for sure. And according to Sean, that's all because of Mark Harmon. In an interview, he credited the show's success and poll entirely to his co-actor, saying that we wouldn't be here 16 years later if it wasn't for Harmon. Yeah, it was it was really interesting to kind of come full circle with Harmon there. And, uh, you know, he, he made an impression on me. He called him a real actor, saying that he goes for the realness of the act and the character and the truth of it. He also commented on how every actor on the show strives to do what Mark does and that he's that good. Well, that definitely sounds like he literally worships the ground the other actor walks on. And why not? Mark Harmon has literally been Sean Murray's co-star for the longest time. Yep. NCIS isn't the first project they've starred in together. Instead, it was Hearts of the West, a show that came out a decade before their current one, where 15-year-old Sean Murray first met Harmon. The 90s drama wasn't a very successful one, but in its duration, there was an episode where Jeff Bridges was supposed to appear as a guest star. Only because of scheduling issues, he couldn't, and the stint went to Mark Harmon. That's when they first met, and according to Sean, he made an impression on him even back then. He also mentioned that while they didn't spend much time together in that show, Harmon actually remembered Sean when he came to star in NCIS, even though he was 15 back in the original series. And that's what made Murray such a big fan and admirer of his co-star. Yes, that's the secret behind their crazy unending chemistry, right? But then again, if you work with a guy for two decades straight, you gotta have some chemistry with them. And with that, I finished my list of facts you never knew about Sean Murray.